Well, hello, this is Jim Nesson, Total Nerdery Channel, your host. And I have been getting this little uh, comment very much on some of my uh, recent tech videos. And it's about an error message which uh, NVIDIA users get, which says you are not currently using a display attached to an NVIDIA GPU, graphics processor unit. And this is the fix. Um, basically, how you. Uh, it's a try to make you solve this issue. It's how, how, how to uh, not get this error message, of course, and being able to um, access NVIDIA control panel and possibly get a much better performance as well. And. Um, this is basically a problem that uh, comes up when you have two graphic cards and you might not really understand you have two graphic cards. Um, this is because your, um, your integrated graphics, which is a little graphics card in your processor, uh, and on top of that you have a NVIDIA G GPU, which is better but also um, consumes more power. Right, and um, this, as said, also causes uh, you to not being able to uh, access your NVIDIA GPU settings um, or the NVIDIA control panel. Um, and uh, you want, of course, access to the control panel. It's very important because you can be able to uh, tweak your uh, GPU. You will be able to uh, change um, the performance of it to be more resolution uh, based or more performance based bas basically speed uh, versus uh, speed versus quality and uh, many of us gamers prefer prefer fps uh, to a certain limit i guess anyways um it can happen on most computers so yeah so how do you do this? How to fix it? Uh, one of the main issues that are causing this is uh, if you are using a tower computer. Uh, note, this is not for laptop computers. It's uh, not true for laptops. But if you're using a, a tower computer, it might be so simple. You've basically plugged your computer in the wrong jack. Uh, your motherboard, where your processor resides, have might have an input for uh, VG, VGA or uh, HDMI or another um, screen connection. In, it depends on the screen you're using, but uh, uh, the usual ones are supported on the motherboard. Um, and what you want to do is you don't want to keep your screen connected to the motherboard. No, you want to connect your screen to the outputs from your graphics card. And if you don't know much about computers, try to just switch the uh, output or sw switch the cable from the screen to the computer, not to the one it's in right now, change it to the other one that's the same and fits. Of course, it's don't use any force, just if it's the same, if it's the exact same, uh, switch it. And if it's another, in another location, um, it might be that's uh, that what's the problem, that you basically need to plug it into your graphics card and not onto your integrated graphics. If you do not use a tower computer, but rather uses a laptop, or if this didn't fix the problem, the problem might actually be a driver problem. Yes, unfortunately, there are several things that cause this and the solution can be one of the following here. Um, so basically, if you have the wrong drivers or some gen generic drivers um, or something that came with Windows but doesn't work, um, it doesn't help if you try to update the drivers because it believes it has the latest compatible drivers. And to make uh, to get some better drivers, we will install the drivers from the pages themselves. That is the Intel's 
um, driver page and the NVIDIA um, driver page and we will get the latest drivers from there. Firstly, we need to remove the old drivers and to do that we need to open Device Manager. Uh, we can open or reach Device Manager by going into the Control Panel and from the Control Panel we find the Device Manager. Note that you can mess things up seriously in the Device Manager and um, be careful what you do here. Don't, don't do something you don't know what you're doing. So only carefully follow the steps here. Anyways, uh, scroll down to display adapters. We find our NVIDIA card, whatever it is. And we just right click on it and we click uninstall. We might as well just delete the driver software. Um, uh, yeah, del delete the drivers. So we don't need them. Yeah, and uh, then we'll do the same for the Intel drivers as well. Now that you have clicked uninstall this device for both of them, please restart your computer. When the computer is restarted, we need to get the new drivers. And to get the new drivers, we'll go to Intel's respectively, uh, or both Intel's and NVIDIA's uh, sites, and we can download the latest NVIDIA drivers from there for our graphics card and the latest um, Intel HD graphic drivers uh, from there as well. Um, and also um, some people suggest that you instead go and download the drivers from the manufacturer of your laptop and it varies it's different for the different manufacturers but uh, my computer is an Acer so in that case I go to the Acer website and uh, usually on the sticker on the laptop you are using you can basically see a serial number of what the model is using input that uh, number onto your laptop manufacturer's homepage and on the home page you can then drop down and uh, search for drivers and there we can find the graphic drivers and you can also download them sometimes the uh, they can be a bit slow um, and usually the official latest stable release of the drivers um, of, from NVIDIA for example is usually um, up to date and is usually working well if that, however, wouldn't work, then you can go and try the uh, drivers from the laptop manufacturers. Anyways, um, if we head over at uh, NVIDIA, you can just, you know, find our site here and uh, you write in what graphic card you have. Uh, and same goes for the Intel web page. You just go in and write in what processor you're using and you can get the drivers from there. If you don't know how, um, you know, what graphic card you have or what processor you have, you can, uh, I'll make videos. Um, I haven't made them yet, but I will make videos of it and I'll post them in the description of this video when those videos are done if you need further assistance to find out what graphic card you have and what processor you have um, but um, I guess if you bought the computer you should know that it's uh, uh, written if you bought the parts or if you bought the computer it's written in the specifications of that computer uh, when you bought it anyways Install the NVIDIA drivers and um, we want to click perform a clean installation uh, just to be safe. Uh, so you basically check the clean installation. Note that this will remove uh, previous settings and yeah, it's basically stated that. So uh, it will be default values and you have to um, yeah, make some those settings you made before, but usually um, I guess 
most watching this video haven't messed with that, so probably no change. And then you will need to restart your computer again. Yep, and I hope that this uh, will fix your problem and that you will not get that horrible error message you're not currently using a display attached to an NVIDIA GPU. Um, and if this video helped you, then please leave a like, share this video to some friends and stay subscribed for future tech tutorials. If you have any further problems, uh, you can post it in the comments uh, and me or someone else reading those comments can help you out further. Also, if you have some suggestions of new tech tutorials you would like to see, please leave some suggestions as well. And with that, I will say thank you very much for watching or maybe mainly listening, I don't know. But anyways, this is Jim Adesim, officially signing out.